Okay, now that we've created our pivot table, uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is let's create some charts. Um, we'll probably just do one. This should be a really quick video. Um, Excel has a lot of really simple ways to create charts and graphs for any kind of data you need. Um, in fact, if we go to the insert tab here, um, in the center section in the charts, there's all kinds of charts, um, scatter plot charts for lots of scientific data. Um, there's this recommended chart, which is really easy. If you just click on there, you can go through and see what your data is going to look like charted out. Um, ours, that's actually, there is no blank region in our data. That's the totals row there that's kind of messing things up, but that would be an easy thing to fix. Um, we're, these are really simple. All you do is double click on it and it creates the chart. Um, we're going to do something just a little bit different. We are going to highlight that same data we did before. Um, basically everything except for the totals and average row at the bottom and then the sales tax and sales tax rate columns H and I there. I'll show you a really easy way. What we're going to do is create basically a pivot chart, which is a variant of the pivot table. And so, because we already highlighted the cells we wanted, it's already got that information in the range of data. We're going to do another new worksheet, just so it's easier to see. And the information looks a lot like a pivot table. Um, what we're going to do, let's grab the total here and drag it down into values. And we can make charts or graphs basically based off of any of this data that's in the field. So if we click region, it's going to break down our sales numbers by region. Um, into a really easy to see graph. And I'm going to actually move that over here a little bit. Um, if we turn that off, we can break it down by sales rep. Um, once again, really easy to see. We can break it down by item. So it gives us a lot of flexibility using this using the pivot chart as opposed to regular chart. You can use regular charts, it's fine. Um, for this one, um, for this particular, we're just going to do a pivot chart and let's do it based on region. There we go. And so we'll just make sure region is checked and that automatically puts region in the axis down here. Um, and our values are sums. And since we have this, um, you're not going to have, there's a lot of the charts you're going to use, you're going to use in other software. Um, so let's say we wanted to use this in a PowerPoint or put it into a Word document. All you have to do is right click on the chart and we will go to copy. And let's bring up PowerPoint. And I've just got a blank PowerPoint right here. Uh, we'll go into this right here and paste and it puts in a, our chart. It changes the colors to the to the color scheme that it, this PowerPoint has, but it's the same chart, same information. Um, if we wanted to add this just into a document, here's Microsoft Word. Once again, right click, paste, and it's right there. So the charts, and specifically the pivot charts, are great ways to visualize data especially to be used in other programs um, or to be used inside of a Excel as well. So for this particular project, you see this came in on a new sheet. It's called Sheet 7 here. Um, I'm going to right click on that and rename it. We'll just call it Chart. And once again, I'm going to just grab it, click on it, and drag it next to the pivot table. And there we have our spreadsheet. 
we have our spreadsheet, our pivot table, and our chart. Um, the last video or two is just going to be about making this more readable. So we're, we're done with data manipulation for now.